What's going on guys? So today we're going to be showing you how to make music for free. Completely free. There's no cost whatsoever. All you're going to need is a computer and some Wi-Fi. And this will get you started on your journey how to make music. So to get started, um, you're going to want to go ahead and the first thing you want to do is obviously look up the website and the website is called Audio Tool. Audio Tool is spelled just like this audio tool you want to go ahead and hit that first one it's going to bring you to like a login area uh, you can create a profile it's, everything's free i promise it's not going to hurt you or kill you to sign up for this so then you want to go ahead and hit this enter studio up here at the top and it'll bring you to this this will um bring you to a page where you can create a new project a demo which is like remixing other people's work or your work. And then you can also open a project that you've made previously. Obviously you probably never use this, so you're gonna hit new project. You go ahead and hit new project and then you have, it gives you like tips of the day. So like you can go ahead and just click through these and you can see a bunch of different tips that it gives you on how to use the utilities that it gives you or how to put beats on the page, you know, how to put them together, or how to make sound, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, first we got here is the, uh, it's a centroid, I believe it's called. Yeah, it got the whole centroid right here, and this allows you to plug everything in, and then it plays through here, and then through here, and that's how you're able to hear sound. So to get started, um, you just want to go ahead and head over here in the top right. You can see samples, you can look up drums, vocals, strings, anything you want. So in this case, we can just look up drum. Then here you got all of the samples that he has you can either look up over here at the top right where it gives you um loops or like these simple you know beats and then it has an all page so you, you can look at all of them they play like this all right those are the loops that it gives you so they'll be fine playing around like that so you just Add whichever one you like, like sure, we'll take this, put it on there, and then get some, uh, I don't know, maybe look up some synth. No idea what that is, but hey. Screw it, let's just put it on there. See how it sounds. All right, and then everything you have shows up at the bottom. So you can lay it out however you want, put things to where you want, start it, cut it. I'm just gonna be a very basic tutorial. It's not gonna be in depth, but this is how you pace, how you basically start out uh, with your tracks. You either hit the play button at the top or you just hit space bar to play your music. It automatically it connects it to everything whenever you put it on the uh, screen here, so. We're good to go. And obviously it stops there, um, but you could just continue it by dragging the edge of this so however long you want. So yeah, we could just continue that to there. And then you got yourself a little beat. Tell me why that goes hard though. Yeah, so look, you got yourself a beat. You can also um, go ahead and head into the devices. You can always um, play with the stuff around in here. Like if you wanna make it sound weird, you're gonna add like a phaser. So you put like something like that. If you wanna connect this one like onto there, you're gonna have, or like say like the, this one. Connect it through here so it goes through here and then out back to the centroid, which gives it that effect. Um, let's see how it sounds now. See, it gives you that, that phaser sound effect, right? Yeah, and then you can always turn on the uh, repeats up here at the top, it'll be like that so you can have it looped. 
So you can just play around with this stuff. I mean, it's pretty fun. You can get rid of stuff by pressing the delete button at the bottom. So like if you don't like it, just delete it. I'm gonna add some reverb to something. Reverb is always nice. You know that. So add it to there. And then you have... Um, let's play it. And then there you go, you have a beat, some reverb. So this is the basic stuff just to get started with. Um, from here, you can go ahead and just play with whatever you can find here. It's it's a bunch of stuff that they give you for free. Remember, this is all for free. I mean, I can go ahead and show you all what I have made. Just to show you what you can do. Like here's an example. Um, I had made this a year ago. <laughs> been a while but i made it a year ago and it's pretty nice yeah this this is the uh this is the track it looks like this so i spent a lot of time making it uh, yeah here you go There's no reason for this to blow up, but if it does, if it does, nobody can use this song without my credit. Please. I'm, I'm begging. Alright, back to the song. So yeah, that, that would be one of the songs that I have. Um, if you want to hear more, drop a like, subscribe. You already know what to do. But yeah, that's that's the stuff that you can do uh, with this app. I think it's beautiful. Um, I believe you can add in your own stuff, but that comes with limits, obviously. But other than that, you should be good to go. And, you know, just try it out for yourself. Take some time. Cause it's, it, it took me a while to figure out that like things just don't happen. You have to put time into it. That's all you gotta do. Once you put like a couple days into it, you'll find yourself enjoying it. Find some more beats, learn how to use some more stuff, make some cool things, you know? So yeah, it's been your boy. I'm out. Peace.